okay dear students let us see what is there in this question two satellites w and x have same mass two satellites they have circular orbits around the same planet w is closer to the surface than x okay so first of all let us uh, make this diagram otherwise things will be very confusing so this is planet and there are two satellites and they have the same masses m and m w is closer and x is farther what quantity is what quantity is smaller for w than for x what quantity is smaller okay now the number one question is a uh, number one option is gravitational force from the planet uh, what is smaller for w no gravitational force will be bigger isn't it because the gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and for w distance is lesser and force is inversely proportional it is going to be more angular velocity angular velocity orbital speed okay as per the orbital speed is concerned let us talk about this now uh, what is the formula for the orbital speed gm by r square root so you see that the formula for orbital speed of the satellite does not depend on the mass of satellite first so it is given that the masses are the same but even if they are not the same doesn't matter so in this case i can only say that the orbital speed is also inversely proportional to distance so for w if the distance is lesser the orbital speed will be more so orbital speed will also be more so if orbital speed is going to be more angular velocity will also be more so angular velocity has to be more so there is the formula like v is equal to r omega and so um angular velocity uh, we have to see it yes uh, v is like 1 by root r yes angular yeah this will be like r raised to power 3 by 2 sorry for this r raised to power 3 by 2 because this r will go down so omega will be directly proportional to this again omega is inversely proportional hence angular velocity will also increase now if the velocities are increasing and they are like rotating or revolving around the planet at a higher velocity definitely the orbital time period will be lesser it will be lesser for w and more for x also we know the formula for orbital period we can use it here there is a kepler's law kepler's third law and that kepler's third law is that t square is directly proportional to r cube so if the if the radius is lesser time period will definitely be lesser they are directly proportional and they are related by this law okay dear students this is professor varun and please subscribe to the youtube channel also uh, share the video with all of your friends all the best